Hello and welcome to another edition of Beyond 20's video tutorials for Surewell Service Management. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to export a grid and then import it into an Excel spreadsheet and create a pivot table. Uh, if you have experience with pivot tables in Excel, you understand how powerful these can be and how useful they are for reporting purposes. So, uh, to get started, first thing we want to do is open up our blue pill and get a search result. Uh, in this case, what I've done is I've just done an open search for incidents, uh, and I've uh, allowed both open and closed incidents, uh, no, basically no constraints whatsoever. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and export my grid into a comma-separated variable file, or CSV file as we call them. Um, and the way I do that is either right-click anywhere on the grid window, and you'll see at the bottom here an export grid selection, or if I wanted to, I could go up here to file and do the exact same thing. Same process, just uh, different different locations on the window. So what I when I get this export grid uh, window open, it shows me all the fields that are going to be exported. Uh, it also shows me available fields that could be exported, and as you can see, uh, anything available to the incident, really as well as anything related to an incident, can be exported, any field that's related. I'm going to go ahead and go with the default here, which is all of the fields that are shown here in my grid uh, at, at the time of export. Uh, so I need to select a file name to give it. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and go ahead and decide on a name. Uh, in this case, we'll just call it Incident Export. As you can see, it saves the file as type CSV. And I click on Save, and then it shows here where I've got that. And I click on OK. What it did is it just went ahead and exported directly into, uh, uh, into a CSV file uh, located there in my, uh, in my grid. OK. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and opened the CSV file in Excel. And you can see all of the uh, fields and records that came out of Surewell. Uh, what I like to do is go ahead and clean this up just a little bit. I just select all of these and then double click and that gives me uh, auto width on the columns in Excel. But you can see all of the various uh, all the various records show up here. Now uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a pivot table. Uh, this is actually a pretty simple uh, action to do and it again it is extremely powerful uh, because you can do all sorts of different things with it. Um, so what I need to do is go up to my Insert menu, or Insert tab on the ribbon, and you'll see here uh, the selection Pivot Table. And as you can see, easily arrange and summarize complex data in a table. So if I click that, I'm going to get a basically a, a default uh, setup, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and let it take the default. It, it automatically uh, takes all the data in the table, and we're going to create it on a new worksheet. So I click OK. And now I have uh, the start of a pivot table. If you look over here on the right, I can select the various fields that I can use to add to this report. So if I wanted my incident ID and my priority and my status uh, and maybe the customer name to show up, uh, now you can actually see, uh, actually interestingly, this thinks that the incident ID is a label, not a value, or a value, not a label. So maybe I don't want to use that here. Um, same with priority, but uh, let's go ahead and add another one, maybe create a date time. And what you can see here is what it's doing is it's actually categorizing and grouping all of these various incidents. So I can show that anything that's in an accepted status, and I can see this, what's in an active status, who owns it, or rather who was the customer, uh, and the date that it was created. So you can see here, and then I can, of course, also, you know, shrink these down. So I'm actually, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this all by um, status. And you can see that. So I can actually just show everything that's assigned out there right now. It's actually pretty powerful. Um, for me, uh, this is helpful when I'm trying to sort through a lot of complex data within the system. Um, there are some tools within Surewell that allow you to do this, but Excel is really built for this sort of thing. So that's pretty much what there is, what all there is to it. 
Um, feel free to check out any sort of Excel pivot table uh, tutorials online. They'll help you go ahead and build these out the way you really want them. Um, but the export from Sherwell is obviously very simple. Uh, it goes straight to a comma-separated variable file. And you want to make sure to select the values, uh, or rather the fields that you want to export uh, very carefully when you're doing this so you get the data you want. Thank you very much.